They say Christmas is a time of giving, but the old dirty corner boy them strike again as they say it's a time for taking. Yeah, man. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right. Y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a guan. A blessed and wonderful Wednesday evening to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please, like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. Now, on your screen... The government is pleading to you, the regular members of John Public, following the declaration of the SOEs. Law abiding citizens are being asked to observe strangers in gated communities, apartment complexes, or quiet rural communities, and parish neighboring those under the state of public emergencies. Now, persons operating Airbnbs are also being warned to be vigilant as they do business in this Christmas season as unscrupulous persons may try to book stays at this time. Now, typical displacement areas for criminals running from the SOE are gated communities and apartment complexes in Upper St. Andrew or persons may migrate from Westmoreland to St. Elizabeth, from St. James to Chelani, from St. Catherine to St. Anne. Now, the government is pleading once more to you, the regular members of John Public to be vigilant and report any unusual faces and or set of circumstances. Yeah, man. So anyway, make we continue. Now, my peeps, over there in the St. Catherine North Police Division, the St. Catherine North Police Quick Response Team rescued Billy Goat and other members of his family. Whilst on a patrol in the Angel Heights era of Spanish Town St. Catherine, all of this took place on Monday, December 12. So the police states that they are urging citizens to ensure they purchase meats from legitimate vendors during this Yuletide season as Billy and his other family members almost became Curry goat. Yeah, man, may I tell you? So farmers also be on the lookout for the criminal elements because the pre larcenist are out. And also during this Christmas season, be careful of who you purchase alcoholic beverages from as these men presently on your screen are bottling and packaging what appears to be Campari to be sold in the streets. Summer peeps, please be careful during this Yuletide season. Yeah, man. So now to the knockings and clappings, my peeps. Over there in the parish of St. Mary, we have seen where in recent times, they might get a portion to knockings and clappings resulted in the loss of life of some people. And it is widely stated that these are men who have fled St. James and other parishes and are now entering into the domains of the St. Mary Police Division. Now, two men on your screen presently were taken out by criminal elements in an era called Bamboo Walk in St. Mary on Monday night. The men have since been identified as 22-year-old Trevon Davis and his 33-year-old cousin Odane Edwards, both from the Bamboa community in St. Mary. It is said that the men were sitting outside of a shop and sometime around 9.30 p.m. that night, 
men traveling in a Toyota Pro Box open fire, hitting both men. The men were pronounced, you know what, at the hospital. Edward's mother, Marlene Davis, says he was to leave on Wednesday for Canada, where he resides, after spending several months in Jamaica visiting his children and relatives. She says that the family is now traumatized and confused by the knockings and clappings that resulted in the last life of both men, as both her son and nephew were two quiet individuals. The St. Mary Police Division has has so far recorded a whopping 45 loss of life since the start of January, which is rather unusual for the parish of St. Mary. Poor me, tell me peeps, the thing rough down a jan shop there. Yeah, man. In the western section of Jamaica, speaking about the Hanover Police Division to be more specific, the police has reported that one of Hanover's most wanted men is now in police custody after eight years on the run. The man in question is this criminal element presently on your screen. 53 years old Eric Clark, commonly called Legacy. The 53-year-old Eric Clark was wanted for a knockings and clappings which resulted in the last life of a man committed in the rural community of Cashel or Patty Hill in the parish of Hanover. Since 2014, the incident took place. He has been on the parish's most wanted list since then, despite living in the same area. Clark managed to elude the police on numerous occasions. Now head of the Hanover Police Division, Superintendent Sharon Beeput, stated that Clark was held by the Hanover Police during a snap raid in Cash Hill or more commonly called Patty Hill in the parish. The senior officer stated that the community can now breathe a sigh of relief as information gathered had indicated that the man was a threat to women in the area. The superintendent continues to say that she is commending the men and women under her command for what she said was outstanding work. She continues and stated, and I quote, It has been a long while since this man has been on our wanted list. So the fact that we are able to capture him is definitely commendable for the team and we just encourage our officers to carry out their hard work and continue do so especially throughout this festive season yeah man so another decent spot of work again by the squad of them one more criminal element off the streets yeah man now my peeps in a rare video footage sent to on the spot news media with incarcerated dancehall artist Tommy Lee Sparta in prison with other fellow inmates. Now, this has caused an outrage in the members of John Public Space. Now, the regular members of John Public, especially those from Montego Bay, who has felt the hands of the infamous downtown Sparta Gang, allegedly being led by incarcerated dancehall DJ Tommy Lee Sparta, is very much outraged as these persons are stating that cell phones in prison cells definitely equals to loss of their lives and they are pleading to the Department of Correctional Services and also to the government to seek to have these cell phones taken from these criminal elements presently behind bars. Now I have for you that video footage presently. Some is saying that it is not Tommy Lee Sparta, but from what I know, that tattoo to the left side of his face, if you're watching the video, your left to the side of his face, right above his eyes, is definitely that of Tommy Lee Sparta. So my peeps, watch and see where I go on. Hey, that's the boss. Yeah, yeah, man. Cheat out of that one good business. One jaggy jaggy.
So people from Flankers, Mobi, Uptown or Downtown, Sparta, persons from the diaspora, persons from the regular members of John Public who knows Tamilee Sparta well, is this video that of Tamilee Sparta. I want to drop some comments in the comment section and make me know where you don't think about the video there. Because in on the spot news media view, that is indeed Tamily Sparta. Yeah, man. So the Department of Correctional Services is coming under heavy fire from members of John Public, stating that these alleged dons are staying from behind bars and instigating not just criminal activities, but the taking of many of our Jamaican people's lives. So trust me, the government have a lot of work to do right across the security and justice system to appease the regular members of John Public and start saving some lives. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.